Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Raider, also known as the CG023. Uh, this is basically another Nano QX clone. Uh, it's a pretty cool design. It's got these, you know, built-in prop guards. Um, prop guards are, you know, work pretty well. It's got some clearance, so you don't end up, you know, nicking into the props, and they're pretty substantial, so they work well. Um, this has LEDs on the, on, like, close to the body here, and each arm there are LEDs. They're not super bright though, and I mean the positioning of them up by the canopy. Um, I, I probably wouldn't call it a night flyer, but they do help with orientation at least. Uh, let's see, we've got a spare set of props and a USB charging cable, and then you'll also see some thumb pads in there. Um, by default, the transmitter comes with thumb pads installed, but it has these optional sticks that you know you can just pop them off and put whichever um, thumb pad or sticks that you want so I'm a big fan of that seeing lots of quads do that lately and I really like that give us the option that we want thumbs or sticks that's awesome um, the battery is pretty little it's just a 150 milliamp hour battery uh, and that takes about 35 minutes to charge um, you get about uh, 5 minutes and 50 second flight times with a 5 second LDC warning, so not much a warning there before it loses power. Um, you can turn the LEDs on and off with a little button here, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's some camera buttons here, but obviously this doesn't have a camera, so those don't actually work. Um, the rates are on different buttons here. You've got 20, 60, and 100%. You got flips on the right button, so, or the right bumper button, you just hit that and move your right stick in whichever way you want to flip. Um, and then this actually has a headless mode, so you hit the left bumper to turn on headless mode. Uh, and this, you know, the headless mode actually worked fairly decently on this one. Um, I was able to, you know, do full pirouettes while moving in whatever direction I wanted for quite a while before, you know, it's, it did slowly lose its heading eventually. Um, but I, I found that it held it a little bit longer than other things that I've tried. Uh, so not completely horrible on this one. To recalibrate, hold both sticks down right, and that'll recalibrate the accelerometer. And that is all I've got to say about it. So let's go take it for a flight. Wow.